Hey guys, this will be a bonus reading for Sagittarius. I hope everyone's doing great. Sending all of you love and light always. This will be a general collective reading as usual. This will not resonate with every Sagittarius and will not resonate with every Sagittarius cross watcher. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Take a moment to please read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. There is a wait list, but if you're interested in being added, email me. You can find that in the description box, as well as the links to my Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok accounts. I do post collective readings there. Sagittarius. Goodness. Hmm. What am I seeing on my camera? I see something on my desk and it's driving me crazy. Oh, it's on my actual screen. Like, what is that? All right, anyways. Sagittarius. Uh-oh, Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands. Seven of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Two of Wands. Oh, ten of Wands. All right, we got Nine of Wands. Yeah. Knight of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Cups on the back of the deck. Yeah, definitely somebody walked away from somebody here or somebody released somebody because they felt like they were being deceptive. You may have thought that this person was looking at another option or looking at other options. I just see that somebody got fed up and... With this Nine of Wands here, you see how this Nine of Wands, there's like a devil in the back? It's like, th that reminds me of like the devil card. You got sick of somebody's, because they were toxic. They maybe had some addictions, they were being obsessive. It became too much. You were taking on too much of this person's shadow aspects or too much of their toxicity or like you were, it was just too much. Um, so yeah, you definitely could have blocked this person. I also see that somebody was very guarded and non-committal, okay? I definitely see that somebody could be blocked. But I also see that there's some type of wish fulfillment manifesting here. If you were trying to manifest for this person to invest in you the right way, that could be possibly about to manifest here. But I definitely feel like you definitely pulled away from this person. We have, what do we have here? Not very much. We have Aquarius energy coming through. We have the Leo energy here. Yeah, you walked away because this situation wasn't making you happy. And honestly, you when you walked away from this situation, it like took all that stress. Like you were maybe losing sleep over this person. You were always having anxiety, very fearful of the future with this person. Like you were just, you never knew what was going to happen. Maybe even cried over this person. But what once you released them, all that went away, Okay. Um, but I just see that you guys haven't 100% moved on from them. Or somebody hasn't 100% moved on from either it's you or this person. Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups. Somebody still doesn't know if they want a relationship. They don't, they're very confused. Ace of Cups in reverse, the world. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person wasn't cooperating with you. That's why this, that's why this didn't, this, that's why this cycle closed out between you and this person. It's like, 
somebody's having a hard time moving away from this because at some point you did view this person as like your wish fulfillment you thought that this was like it for you you thought that this was going to bring you a lot of fulfillment you maybe even know that there's maybe potential in the future for this situation to bring you happiness but for some reason this person's just not with the program they this person could be very financially unstable or very immature that could be a big issue right now also, I just see that this person's not cooperating with you. They're not meeting you halfway. They're not willing to compromise. They're not willing to make any sacrifices, okay? And that's why this isn't moving forward. That's why this isn't progressing. And I feel like maybe this person had no problem. Let's see here. Queen of Swords, King of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. It's like you guys want to build something. You want to be like, you know, build something with somebody. You want something stable and long-term and committed. I feel feel like you guys possibly either somebody is very guarded or you guys I just see that maybe you guys had to set some firm boundaries with this person the lovers in reverse the high priestess in reverse the ten of swords in reverse the wheel of fortune in reverse death hmm this person is maybe going through some type of karma right now so they're reaping some bad karma I feel like whatever the, their karma is, is maybe hitting their, like, hitting their money, okay? Um, and I feel like relationships just have not worked out for this person also. This person needs to make a lot of changes in their life before they can ever have a successful union. I see that they're feeling very pessimistic about relationships here yeah it's like this is never gonna get this person needs to go through a lot of change is what i'm seeing um what else do i want to take a look at where's my deck at oh there it is Spirit's actually calling me to use a different deck that I've never really used for clarifiers, but we're going to go with the flow here. Oh, goodness. I'm going to drop the whole dang deck. All right. What's the seven of swords? have a drink something is lurking it doesn't look good remember there are blessings in life that are disguised and difficulties let it make you better yeah there's something being hidden from you or somebody's being deceptive or there's somebody secretly watching you or there's something going on that you're not 100 percent aware of okay What is it that they're not aware of? What is this? Two of Wands. What's this Two of Wands? Get goals. Spirit says you need to switch directions. Um, choose a different direction at this time. And they want you to focus more on your goals, career, money, your passions. You know, this is not the time to focus on love, babe. Set your goals and crush them. Love will find you when you least expect it. So don't go searching for it. Yeah, Spirit says it's time to shift your focus at this time. Um, guys, could you give me more clarity on what's going on? What's lurking? What is hidden here? Cold piece. What exactly do you love about him? If he's treating you in a way that feels disrespectful, ask yourself what part of you allows this continue this behavior to continue. So maybe what's lurking is just this person is a, like they're alert. They're, there's something toxic about this person. Okay. Um, I already brought that up. What's lurking is maybe you guys have gotten yourselves in a situation with somebody that you maybe have feelings for, but they're not good for you. All right. And they don't treat you the way that you, the way that you deserve to be treated. Okay. And they're maybe a little bit, you know, mistreat you. Okay. I see that this person has probably, it looks like they have put you through a lot. All right. And spirit is saying that they want you to take some time to reevaluate why you even like this person. Okay. What is it that you see in them? Take a step back, switch directions at this time, you know, maybe take a break from this person and really think about what it is that you like about this person. 
taking a step back from them may make you look at them in a different light okay caught up in your spell just be careful what you wish for your manifestation is coming is it truly what you want yeah this person's obsessed with you guys some of you guys may have did some manifestation work in regards to this person or some spell work in regards to this person and it's gonna manifest but by the time it manifests you guys may not want that anymore or this person's gonna be a lot more obsessive than you want them to be hmm how about the ten of wands motherhood spirit says that like you have too many other things on your plate to be worried about this person okay um, or this situation. It says, take this time to mother your babies, creative projects, or entrepreneurial, I can never really say that word, word right, ventures. But more than anything, don't forget to mother yourself. So if you guys don't have children, Spirit says that whatever you were, you were going through with this person is too much of a burden. It's, it's keeping you from being able to love yourself or to take care of yourself. You're pouring so much into this person that you're maybe even like, maybe not pouring enough into your, you know, I'm not saying that you guys are not pouring enough into your children, but Spirit says that your children deserve that energy more than this person. Yeah, I mean, and, um, or your business deserves that more than this person, whatever it is, you know, spirit says that you got to make sure that you always make sure you take care of yourself. And even when you're in a relationship, you, that you continue to practice self-care and self-love nine of wands. Yeah. Back together. So I see here that. Things are not completely over between, like, it's like, you guys are probably sick of this person. You're pretty fed up. You're exhausted with the situation, but you'll find it your way back to each other. When the time is right, you will soon realize the space that was created was to allow your love to take a different form. Maybe that's that transformation. You know, maybe you guys both need to go through transformation separately so that you guys can come together in, you know, in a health, you know, and be having actually help have a healthy relationship. But I'm telling you, it's like this person somebody needs to re release something toxic here. When this person does come back to you, they're going to be making you a priority. It says you're about to be in the spotlight, whether it's your man or woman only having eyes for you or your career finally taking off. Expect to get a lot of attention. This person maybe wasn't giving you a lot of attention or, or not putting a lot of effort into you before, but that's going to change. But this person he needed to release something toxic. That was maybe taking up a lot of their energy. I do see possibility of reconciliation. I feel like even though if you, you felt like you had to take a step back from this person, you haven't completely given up on the idea of the two of you being, being together or this is them. All right. All right. Nine, seven of Wands. Get outside. Spending more time in nature will help you take the, time, the pressure off love and remind you that life is beautiful even in the gloomy days. Spirit wants you to know that, first of all, they don't want you to, it says, while you're waiting, ask yourself if they're really worth your time and risking missing out on other amazing people. I definitely see that you guys have maybe kind of closed yourselves off to other opportunities or other suitors. Um, I also feel like Spirit is saying here that some of you guys have kind of withdrawn. You know, maybe you're spending more time alone, spending more time in, inside. Spirit says, and you're doing it because of, you know, what has happened between you and this person, but... Spirit says that they want you to spend more time in nature. Get out. Don't, you know, even though you're sad, try not to just, you know, become a hermit here. I really feel like they want you to take this time to contemplate. I know that like getting out in nature, I like, I really like, you know, doing a lot of contemplating and introspection while sitting in a park. You know what I mean? Like Spirit says that maybe that'll help you somewhat gain some clarity is just like being out in nature. I see that there was a lot of obstacles. There's been a lot of blockages for you and this person being able to come together. You're entering a happier cycle. You did the work and overcame so much. Now it's your turn to receive in a major way. It's time. You've had enough lessons. We are in Saturn retrograde. This is about karma. So people are going to about to be getting or, or has already gotten or is going to be getting what they deserve until the end of Saturn retrograde, which is sometime in October, I believe. But I never advise anybody to wait for another person. Do not wait for this person get out live your best life 
there is happier times manifesting for you. Even if things are not great right now, there is happiness in your near future. I feel like things are going to look up within the next couple, four, two, couple to four months here. Knight of Wands. Yes, you were dealing with a very immature person. Somebody was very immature here. What is this? Um, did did this person throw temper tantrums too? Like, did, were they like so immature that they would throw little temper tantrums when they didn't get their way or when they were mad or upset? That could resonate for some of you. But I just see here that like somebody really needed to mature. Mature love is not letting love consume you, but rather gracefully accepting the dangers, the beauty, and the power of love. Somebody, yeah, this is ascending to marriage possibly. Somebody needed to go through a growth process, or both of you did. You two will find peace and happiness, love each other wholeheartedly, and no matter what challenges might carry you guys apart, you will find each other. Yeah, there's definitely going to be reconciliation. I see this person coming back. So, Spirit is saying that, like, they, they see how invested you are in this person, but Spirit is saying that for the time being, there's nothing wrong with you, you know, exploring other options. What's meant to be will be. Think more about play the field. Get over it. Yeah, snap out of it. He's going to be sorry he lost you or she's going to be sorry he, they lost you. So stop worrying. Forget the past. It's time to let them go. So Spirit says it may be time right now to explore other options or date other people. And if you and this person are meant, which is, there's indicators here of you and this person coming back together in the future or um, reconciling here. It will If it's meant to be, it will be. But for right now, Spirit says that you need to release this person. We have business affair. Ooh, mixing business with pleasure can be risky. Hold off for now and focus on building your career. So for some of you, this could have been somebody that you worked with. But for a lot of you, I feel like Spirit is saying that right now your focus needs to be on money and career and finances. All right? Not on this person. I feel like something about this person kind of makes you neglect other areas of your life because you pour so much into them. And Spirit says there's other things that you need to accomplish before that, you know, you and this person can come together. And there's things that they need to work on before you guys can come together. So while they're, they're healing or they're changing or going through their transformation, you focus on your career, your finances, and your stability, your goals, your, 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 your passions. Okay. Um, let's see here. The star. We have workout. Yeah. Spirit just wants you to take care of yourself, renew yourself, go to the gym, eat better, make sure you're getting enough rest recuperate here there is wish fulfillment manifesting tell me more yeah look at this what you guys have been hoping for is probably this love offer a new love offer is on the horizon keep an open mind it's the only way you can explore create and grow progress is impossible without change and we have trust love is in the air but you must have enough courage to trust and look past what you've been through he will he or she will not lead you astray so i need to know is this coming from this person? Look ahead. Leave the past where it belongs. Look forward to what's coming next. Something better is waiting for you, I promise. So it looks like there's somebody new coming in. False cravings. Don't let it get out of control. Emotional eating will not help you make peace with your internal distress. Heal your triggers. Yeah, don't do things to try to um, distract yourself from your, you know, your, your um, trauma or your, you know, the hurt. You need to face it head on and heal from it so you can release it. Um yeah i was getting this energy too it's like something about you and this person being together it's like you guys mirror each other's shadow aspects or like when you were with this person you started maybe adapting or uh, adopting toxic habits or ways of thinking or because because that person's energy was you know um rubbing off on you if that makes sense um i still want to know though so what does this love offer have to do with this this relationship that came through in this reading. What's it have to do with spellbound? This already showed itself to me. Yes, yeah, as caught up in your spell, just be careful what you wish for. Your manifestation is coming. Is it truly what you want? So this person is going to step up. This past person is going to step up. But Spirit says that by the time this person does it, you guys may not know if that's what you want anymore. It's okay. Pain is a part of growing. Don't numb the pain, which is what I was just talking about. It's okay to allow yourself to feel your emotions so you can start your healing journey. Yeah, you and this person both need to heal. All right. Um, I can't, I want to take a deeper look. I want to see about this new person and I want to also see about the old person. All right. So I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. Um, we're also going to get you some advice, get some timing if spirit will allow, etc. The link will be in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. 
Um, personal readings are open. There is a wait list, but if you're interested, email me. And don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. If you're interested in collective readings, you can find the links in the description box. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will see you over in the extended reading. Bye.